G'day friends, welcome back to Bush Rats. I'm Young Lee, and today we are out on the hunt for some more marron. So you were saying last episode, this one right here. We went out with the boys, E-Dog, Jay and Tony, and we absolutely killed it. We got the most marron we've ever caught before. Our best session Jay's had in years, he reckons, and he's a local been here 35 years. So that was a ripper time, we've got plenty in the freezer. Um, but tonight, I'm going out on a bit of a solo session. Got my cameraman here behind the camera. And we are going to just cruise this side of the bank and we're going to try and get three or four just for a catch and cook. We'll get, um, get the grill out, cook them up. We've got a ripper recipe coming up, so stay tuned. Got the old snare out, ready to go. I've got a bucket of chook pellets. Uh, so if you didn't watch last week's episode, go check that out, come back, show you how to make one of these here and the technique that we used to catch them. With all that said, the sun's almost down. It's just peeking over the trees, so it's almost time to get the pellets out. And bait up all along here and Stay tuned, we'll be up all night, catching marron. Looks like something, we just need three or four. Let's get to it. Alright guys, sun's just gone down, we're about to go take our first lap, we've got the waders on, fucking bug. <laughs> it is hot AF tonight, it's about 36 degrees, there's not a drop of wind, we've got the backpack ready to go, we've got our marron gauge, we've got our cameraman just here as well, let's go see what we can do. Got him. First one. Not a bad size at all. Just get a measuring stick on him. Looking for 80 mil. Oh jeez. If they can get me. He's pushing 90 that one. One in the bag. Okay, number two in the bag. Just get a quick measure on him. How's Jay do it? Grab him from the front, doesn't he? From the tip to the back. Another easy 80 mil. Try the trophy size waters. Yeah, over 90 mil. Good 92 miller. One in there already. Here's a mate for halfway there. I'm thinking two more, and that should be enough for a catch and cook. Straight through the loop. All right, so that's the first run done. We're gonna give it a break, give it 10 minutes, let them all reset. I'm running a sensor head torch here. So that's me light, if I can. We're gonna pull up a chair, give it 10. We're halfway there, just need two more. Get 
is a good one. Stoked. That could be the biggest one of the season so far. Whoa. Let's get a grip on him. Look at the size of that thing. Big as my face. Sweaty face. Whoa. Let's get the gauge on him. That's well over 80. Oh, he's tickling me with his little nippers. Well over 90, that's a good, what, 100, 110 mil. Stoked with that. That's number three in the bag. I haven't got in the bag yet. Number three in the bag. One more and we are out of here. Off to the outdoors kitchen. That's it guys, that's lunch. We are out of here, we'll get a quick measure on him. Another good size one. Zoom in here, Mr. Cameraman. You just, just get this cap by the nippies. He's got a bit of a hole in the back of him. Battle scars. Maybe a red fin got him in his younger days. We'll pop him in the bag. I'll see you guys down by the kitchen. Way back, number five, we're cooking up five. That's lunch now. And fade to black. Alright guys, welcome back to Young Lee's Kitchen. Uh, as you seen last night, or about five minutes ago, caught ourselves some fresh marron. Um, headed out the next day, she's a little windy, so we've done a bit of a spot change. We fucking just down a couple tracks and picked ourselves up a nice little spot here. Um, got four of the marron from last night ready to go, a few ingredients. And today we are going to be making a chili black crab. Kind of like a chili mud crab, but with some black crabs, marron. Um, so let's run through everything you're going to need here, how to do it. Uh, we're cooking on gas today because there's a total fire ban. And this is a real simple easy one guys, all you need is a pan, a burner or a fire, some marron and a few simple ingredients just like this. So I've been out in the garden picking a few things from the Bush Rats Ranch, some homegrown toms. Right, let's get this underway. So everything you're going to need here guys for some chili black crabs. Uh, we'll start with the sauces. Soy sauce. I like the nice thick one, the ABC sauce. Sweet chilli, just to give it a little bit of sweetness to it. Oyster sauce, if you're not a fan of oyster sauce, you can use fish sauce. I've gone with some tomato paste, just to add that little bit of a red flavouring. Fresh toms, straight from the garden. You can use tin tomatoes or like that shit house jarred bolognese sauce. That's, that works just as well, just to give it a bit of a, bit of a slop to it. Some freshly picked garlic. Some chilies, I've gone with two. Once again, out of the garden, depending on your um, taste bud requirements, I'd maybe go one. We'll find out. Don't know how hot these ones are yet, I haven't tried them. Now, if you want to keep a full oriental, you'd go coriander, but I'm not a big fan of coriander, so I've gone with some freshly picked basil. And last but not least, 
some nice marron. Freshly caught, these fellas are they're no longer with us. They're ready to go. We're gonna chop everything up, we're gonna dice up the tomatoes, we're gonna slice up the basil, we're gonna chop up the garlic, the chili, and these things make a little bit of a mess. So we're gonna cut them up last. And the only other thing you might need is a bit of water just to wash out your marron. So let us get chopping. I'm just cooking for myself today, so I'm only going to need enough for one. We're going to use about four cloves of garlic. Uh, the plan is we're just going to dice everything up, the garlic, the chilli, the basil and the tomatoes, as fine as we can. Simple as that guys, got the garlic, the chilli all together, the tomato I've left a little bit rough because uh, that will break down as we're cooking it and the basil because that's going to go in last, we've kept that aside so stuff like your leafy green kind of stuff you want to put that in very last otherwise by the time the garlic cooks and the marron cooks this thing here will be well overdone and wilted and brown so next we're going to need and cut all these bad boys in half, like I brought two chopping boards this time. Through the head. Alright. Now that they're all cut in half, we're gonna have to wash all the gloops and the poops and all that sort of stuff out. So we've got we've got around the other side. And that's what we're looking for. Just nice and white. Get all that brown yuckiness out. All right. Like I said, total fire band. So I brought myself out my own little table here. Got the Bunsen burner, fire on away. Going with the long handle pan. Just gonna get a little bit of heat into that. Oop. Gonna get a drizzle of oil on. Yeah, that much. All right, she's just starting to smoke up nicely now. So the first thing we're gonna bomb in, this won't take long guys, but we're gonna put garlic and chili. Alright, so the good camera's having a bit of a meltdown due to the heat apparently. It's like 9 o'clock in the morning, but um, next thing, I'm going to bomb your marin in. Alright, we're back online. You just want to get a nice little bit of colouring on their marin. Right, once you've got a little bit of colour on them, you're going to bomb in maybe a tablespoon of tomato paste, one tong scoop. Bomb that in, uh, one and a bit, one and a bit. And we want to bomb in our tomato. Oh jeez, <coughs> may have got a bit of chilli there. And next we want to bomb in, we've got the soy sauce, about that much. About even amounts of sweet chilli, about that much. And then about a quarter of what you put in of soy sauce and sweet chilli. Of oyster sauce, about that much. Give that a good stir through. in that last little thing, a bit of basil, 
Now if your sauce starts getting a little thick, don't be shy to put a little bit of water in there, just a smidge. It starts sticking or anything, but I think we've got about three or four minutes worth of stirring, and then we're on. Chili black crabs. Chili marin, chili black crab, chili mud, chili freshwater mud crabs. All right, friends, that's about where we want her. I'm gonna shut this down, plate her up, see how she tastes. I'll show you some B-roll and we're underway. friends chili black crabs chili freshwater black mud they live in the mud mud crab catchy thumbnail clips titles either way it looks pretty good it looks nice and tasty we've got a knife and fork so we're just gonna get stuck into this old school can't see with these things on but let's pop them up there here we go mate's already fallen out let's give this a crack Nice and tomato -y. a little bit of uh, sweetness from the sweet chilli. You can taste that um, basil in there, which is good. I like me basil. I don't like coriander, I like basil. That one. Looks like a big bowl in there, but there's not overly a lot of meat on these. I mean, you've really got the tail and then the claws as well. The claws are pretty good eating. It's a nice claw. If you don't like your hot food, maybe go one chili. Let's give this claw a try. Ah. Nom, 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 nom. Nice little bit of meat out of the claws. There you have it, guys. Catch and cook marin, chili mud crabs, chili fresh water, chili black crabs. I'm going to call it chili black crabs. But you can do this with anything. You can do this with prawns or yabbies or normal crabs or mud crabs it's nice it's tasty super simple and only takes about five minutes worth of prep i'm going to smash these it's time to head home we might be back out for another couple marining sessions they're a bit of a pain in the ass to film obviously because it's night time it's hard to hold a torch and a snare and a camera and just catch the whole lot but if i can get the boys out we might have a couple more episodes coming but Make the most of your summer, guys. Get out there. Like and subscribe, and we will see you out on the tracks. Yo.